This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome back to Miles Edge, or Face Attorney Investigations Prosecutor's Path, everybody! It's a We're new case! We're finally on case four! It only it's... took us 41 episodes. Yeah. So, episode four, The Forgotten Turn About Marty. What do you think will happen okay. in this okay, case? Okay, I was just thinking about this upstairs. So, I'm thinking this could be something, like, science-y. It could be, like, something with fossils and dinosaurs. There's, like... Because it's like forgotten history or something. And oh. Then, like, a dinosaur skeleton gets stolen. Oh, it you think it, it like, wouldn't be like a murder? Otherwise, like Uncle Ray's getting murdered. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's like, hey, Edgeworth, remember this other case we did? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that case. <laughs> 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 That'd be so annoying. All right. Or if it's another one with like Mr. Edgeworth, uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's start the case. Also, first person talking in the cutscene is Courtney, so you will have to voice that. Okay, thank you. So get ready for that. Thank All right, you. three, two, one, go. Oh, it's probably with PIC with pain. From here on out, let the council begin. Let our members discuss this matter with a clear conscience of the goddess of law. Today's deliberation shall be about... Miles Edgeworth's aptitude and ability as a prosecutor. I guess it would make sense to go up. Who, who are you? Why are you wearing that raincoat? This is like the beginning of an anime. The red clock. Ah! Somebody's fallen. <laughs> Kay's dead? Okay. This is kind of where the fiends escalate a little bit, huh? <laughs> Gummy does not look too hot. <laughs> April 5th, 1.23 p.m. High Prosecutor's Offices, room 1202. <laughs> Feel bad about making fun of Kay a lot of the last No, one. <laughs> I don't. I really don't. <laughs> Calm down. You're getting dust everywhere. I've already cleaned this room three times since this morning. Well, now you'll need to do it a fourth time. You're way too calm, sir. What if they actually take your badge? A decision has not been made yet. But it looks like it's pretty much decided. Don't you remember what Judge Courtney said? Prosecutor Edgeworth, the PIC has you in its sights. They will receive a report on everything you did here today. And you will most likely be required to appear before them. I like how one case leads into the next really well. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I don't I didn't know how dinosaurs was gonna lead <laughs> in though. That was the only thing that was making me question. It. <laughs> yeah. I have ordered to it I've been ordered to attend this meeting. That is all. I hate this, sir! I won't be able to work with you anymore! As a detective, perhaps you should welcome this turn of events. You would no longer have to work with such a troublesome prosecutor as myself. Why would you say something like that, sir? The, the problem is with the PIC and their false accusations. Mr. Edgeworth, don't tell me you actually want to become a defense attorney. B because you can't do that. Being a prosecutor is exactly what makes you Prosecutor Edgeworth, sir. Defense Edgeworth. A defense attorney, huh? I became a prosecutor because of the incident where I lost my father. However, the reason I became interested in the legal world was because of my father who passed away, and he had been a defense attorney. To fight crime as a prosecutor, or to save people as a defense attorney, I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. Are you listening, sir? I don't like this one bit! There's no need for you to be so pessimistic. Maybe my replacement will be more lenient during your salary assessments. Ah, uh, oh, I see. That way I can eat more than just instant noodles every day. Wait, what am I saying? That's not the point here. He was actually imagining it. We're busy right now. Come back later, pal. Some chick. It's a nurse. It's a nurse with incredibly short hair. Also, is she like 12? 
I mean, she's Look got she's got the bangs on the side. She's but... so young looking. Also, something says why pill first. Why pill first? Yep. Why pill first? <sighs> How old is she? She's pretty young. She's pretty young. Okay. Paging Mr. Edgeworth. Is there a Miles Edgeworth here? Mr. Edgeworth is busy now. I'll listen to whatever you have to say later, pal. Mm, this isn't good. Your face has become all red. Um, a red face, a red face. Um, like I said, we're kind of busy right now, so... I've got it! You have a tummy ache, right? This calls for an injection stat! Please roll up your sleeves! Ah! No, 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 no! I'm perfectly healthy! Why does she look like Maggie Bird? She's not Maggie Bird. Okay, thank goodness. Who might you be? Uh, I'm so sorry! I forgot to introduce myself! My name's Karen Jensen. I'm a registered nurse at the Die Young Hospital. That's, I'm Die Young! <laughs> that's, not, uh, that's a very unfortunate name for hospital. Is her name a pun? Karen Jensen sounds like a pretty normal name. Karen Jen? No, I don't I know. I mean, Karen Karen, I guess. Karen Jensen. Oh. I'm sorry, but nobody here is sick. You must have the wrong room. Are you Mr. Miles Edgeworth? You have such great wrinkles between your brow. Could it be lupus? This calls for an injection. It's not lupus. Just tell me what business you have with me. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Actually, there's someone who, who would like to see you. Please wait a moment. I'll call them here right now. Wait. If it's old bag. <laughs> <laughs> old bag. No, it's gonna be Kay who like is paralyzed. She'd be like. <gasps> you think uh, she would survive a fall off a building? Because <laughs> she landed on a trampoline. That was a skyscraper. <laughs> we did not order a, a giant, giant trampoline. trampoline. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> she left, sir. I wonder who she's going to bring. Hmm, if she's bringing someone from the hospital, could it be a patient, sir? Maybe it's someone who is traumatized by your harsh words. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? S see? When you glare at me like that, it feels like I'm going to have a heart attack. You could send someone to the hospital with that. I is it really that bad? Now I'm just being my normal self, though. It's a girl. Ooh. Yeah. Sorry for the wait. Well, what do you think? She looks like she hopped out of Atlantis. The movie? I think it's the... Yes. I've tried to forget that movie. I know. That's the worst it's Disney movie. It's so bad. Movie. But that's the only way I can for think of it. If you like well, Atlantis... Like of I haven't, I haven't seen, seen that. It. I was I gonna say, if you love Atlantis, fine, fine. for you. It's the worst Disney it's movie. Pretty, it's <laughs> not the worst Disney movie. It's the worst Bears Disney Bears like movie. to say it with the slap. I, I think that it's production quality is better on that. <laughs> they have a better opening chorus. <laughs> they have a better opening chorus, and Mickey and the Beanstalk is actually enjoyable. Atlantis is just really bad. But we're not here to talk about how yep, bad Atlantis yep. is. What do I think? Um, do you not recognize me? Now that she mentions it, I feel like I've met her before. Um, this card. Your name was written on it. Do you know who I am? M Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe you really did send her to the hospital. Of course not! But this is your business card, sir. It clearly says Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth. Um, th that's true. I'm terribly sorry. I, um... The truth is, this girl suffers from memory loss. Yeah, I mean, I kind of figured. Me memory loss? <laughs> yes, that seems to be the case. Ah, uh, her parents should be worried sick right now. They probably haven't been able to sleep. I doubt they've gotten more than eight hours. Isn't that plenty of sleep? I see, it sure sounds horrible, but it's all right now. Since she has that business card, she must be an acquaintance of Mr. Edgeworth's. Just leave her to us, pal. Right, Mr. Edgeworth? I don't think you can just leave this girl with a random guy whose business card you found in her no, pocket. No. <laughs> Indeed. We might be able to verify her identity, at least. I mean, they are law enforcement people, though, so... Yeah. Would you really do that for me? First, I'd like you to tell us everything that you know. Nothing. That's our Mr. Edgeworth! You have nothing to worry about, miss! She knows nothing. Good grief. 
What do we have in our organ? Just the prosecutor's badge. All right. Profiles. Chick. Dick Gumshoe. Karen Jensen. She's 22. She's she enjoys 22. giving injections. Oh, Karen Jensen. Care injection. Care injection. Okay. All right. And then, don't know who this is. 17-year-old female seems to have amnesia. Maybe? I she's, but she's faking it. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably faking it. But still, where to begin? What shall I ask her first? Miss, do you remember your name? My name? I'm terribly sorry. She's been like this ever since yesterday, you know? Hmm, so you found her yesterday. Wow, that's amazing! How did you know? What, what a tiresome woman! I found her stumbling around late last night, so I took her in. I wanted to help her out, so I looked through her things. So, that's how you found my business card. Did she have anything else with her? Nothing to reveal her name or address. Ah, but... She was wearing this when I found her. It's an unusual design, don't you think? What is that? I do recognize it from somewhere. That's the mark of the Yadagarasu. Oh, maybe it's like Kay's long lost cousin's <laughs> cousin's sister. It's my uh, sister's daughter's niece. Yeah, so... it might be something like that. What? Th this badge is. What? The, the Yadagarasus? That means it, it couldn't be. Are you Kay? Kay. Yadagarasus badge data jotted down I in the organizer. I thought that was her. That's why I was like giving her that voice. So Kay gets more interesting in this one. <laughs> her hair's actually down. Yeah, I like it. You are Kay, right? I mean, I like long hair. I am Kay. Kay, don't you remember me? I mean, you'd always call me Gummy Pal. G gummy? I would call one of my elders something so rude. Ah, I'm so sorry. What a horrible thing I did. I feel like my heart's going to burst from guilt. Well, they made Kay different in this case. I actually like her personality in this one a lot more. Yeah. Just, just what happened to you, pal? You've become so sensitive. If you're this sensitive and delicate and frail, then you're not even Kay anymore. You're someone else, pal. Watch your words, detective. If you say that, it almost sounds like Kay isn't sensitive or delicate at all. Though, I can't deny there is some truth to what he says. Um, what sort of person was I before I lost my memory? Well, for starters, your name was Kay Faraday. A cheerful girl full of spirit and vigor, and a great thief. What if this is actually some other chick, and then they just, like, whoever did this to her, like, planted the Yadagarasu thing in, and then it's like... It's like, this is Kay! This is Kay! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, to put it frankly, a great thief steals valuables from people's drawers and safes. Is she wearing a blanket around her neck? Yeah, that's a blanket. S steal I cause so much trouble for others? Oh, I'm so sorry. I never imagined I'd be a criminal. Maybe losing my memory was retribution for my crimes. No, no you didn't actually... Ugh, this is so messed up, sir. But it does sort of make sense, you know? These gloves and stuff, they look just like what a thief might be wearing. Ah! Those clothes! Yes, she was wearing them when I found her. I had her change her clothes, so I'm holding on to them for now. Hmm. Something appears to be stuck on her clothes. Perhaps it has something to do with Kay's memory loss. I'll send it down to the lab later and have him check it out, but sir. Good. I'll be counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. I thought it was surprisingly calm. Yep. At any rate... These really do look like thieves' clothes, don't they? I am... a criminal? It's true you were a great thief, but never once did you commit a crime. Uh... Let's break you out of this jail thing that we found you in. Uh, I don't know about that. I'm uh, gonna set fire to this building, is that okay? That wasn't her. That wasn't her. That was her. Manny Cochin. No, that was, um... That was not Manny Cochin. <laughs> that was, uh, Sheena. Sheena. <laughs> that alone I can assure you. Is that so? It's probably better if I don't press this issue any further. Memory loss. I'm really sorry for not remembering you. Um, what kind of relationship did we have? Is her finger, like, undone? Yeah. Oh, that is a lot of bandages on her finger. Look yeah. at how weirdly it's bent. Hmm, well that's rather difficult to explain. 
okay? You were Mr. Edgeworth's assistant. Oh my, so then a prosecutor is the kingpin of a great thief? Uh, no, that's not what I meant, pal. The last time I met Kay was the day before yesterday. Just what did she do from then up until now? Miss Jensen, was the badge the only thing this girl had on her? She did have some other things, but I don't think they will be very helpful at all. I don't mind. Please show them to me. Well then, I'll give them to you one by one, okay? This is a Jam and Ninja mask. Maybe she went to a superhero show or something. Hmm, this seems to be a letter addressed to Kay. This is a ticket stub, and this is... A flower made of cloth! Like the ones you usually see in restrooms, sir! Is that a fain? No. <laughs> That's not a fain. Not fane. that I know of. A corsage. It's used primarily as an accessory for women. Corsages aren't usually made of cloth, though. It's usually real flowers. Maybe someone was a tacky yeah, person going to a tacky wedding. <laughs> this is a tacky shop. <laughs> tacky <laughs> hat. hats. <laughs> I just watched that recently, that's good. Well, that's everything. Did you find anything out? Um, not really. They were just a bunch of random things. I'll have to look them over in more detail later. Jam and Ninja Mask data jotted down. Letter jotted down in the organizer. Ticket stub data jotted down in the organizer. Let's read And that. purple flower I jotted down in the organizer. Let's look at those. All right. Okay. okay so Yadagross's badge, Yadagross's badge, Kay's always wearing. Jam and Ninja mask, a replica of the Jam and Ninja's mask made out of cheap plastic. Letter addressed to Kay. Dear Kay, I promise that I'll get it back for you, your most precious memory, Jill. Jill. Freaking Jill. Ruined everything. <laughs> Jill pushed Kay off the building. <laughs> Jill is just like her really obnoxious sister. She's like, gosh darn it, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. Yeah. Grand Tower viewing platform. Admit one on the 4th of April. She's a student, so it was only $6. six dollars. No refunds. Valid only on the date of issue. All right. Oh, I thought that said no rioting, not no refunds. <laughs> no rioting. Come on, America. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Kay's lost her memory. How do we get her back to normal? Calm down, detective. I have already thought of something. Oh, as I would expect, Mr. Edgeworth. So what did you find out, sir? Look at this ticket stub. Oh, it's a ticket for viewing the pla for the viewing platform at the Grand Tower. Um, Miss Nurse, do you know something about the Grand Tower? Of course I do. It's a super famous dating spot, after all. And she's super dating, people. <laughs> she's super dating. On your super day. They say if a couple holds hands up there, they will be together forever. <laughs> so actually, Kay just went up for her lover. But then it was freaking Jill. But then it was freaking Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story, Jill sucks. <laughs> freaking Jill. That's probably going to be the title of this yeah. episode. The timestamp on the ticket Stupid is from yesterday. Santa. Stupid Santa. <laughs> Moreover, it is only valid on the day of the issue. Since she only has the stub, she must have used it, right? It is very likely. Well then, let's go. Uh, right now, sir. The cause of Kay's memory loss is hidden in her actions. But what about the PIC? It's still too early for me to be summoned there. Um, so should I leave Kay with you then? That is what I would prefer. Kay, you're fine with that, right? Yes, uh, ask the girl with no memories. Yeah, please. Thank you so much. Well, I have to get back to work, so if anything happens, please contact the Die Young Hospital. If you guys need an injection, I'll be there anytime, any place. Yes, I understand. I don't think I will call her for an injection, though. Well then, let's go, Detective. And you too, Kay. Yes, sir! Thank you for helping me. So your theory is that... Um, how about she gets out of just slippers and pajamas? Your theory is that that's not actually Kay, that's someone else. <laughs> that could totally be. <laughs> A Maybe that's Jill! Freaking Jill! <laughs> April 5th, 2.07pm outside the Grand Tower, pl Tower Plaza. Um, according to the pamphlet, this building is 50 stories tall and she survived falling from that? She's Batman. <laughs> A Batman. It's most likely filled with- it's mostly filled with offices, though. Only the vi viewing platform is open to the public. Here you go, sir! I just got this at the reception desk. Good, thank you. 
Grand Tower pamphlet data jotted down the organizer. She looks so familiar. It's the it's the pink pajamas combined with her hair looks like someone. Oh, okay. I can't think of what. Not like someone we know. Like well, it looks like a character from a uh, visual novel. Not this looks, one. Looks like Lilo or Dora. I'm thinking Hanako personally. Kato with shoujo fans know that. Oh. Well then, let us head inside immediately. Ah! The Grand Tower! The Grand Tower's collapsing! Huh? Wh what No, you can't! Please stop! Please! I beg of you! Ah, it's no good! Unless I can drink fresh milk, my thoughts just won't reach! This is an anime! <laughs> What's wrong, pal? Did something happen at the Grand Tower? Oh, this is you. Cut! 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 Oh my gosh, it's Penny! It's Penny! <laughs> Excuse me, we're sort of in the middle of shooting a movie, and, um... Hmm, I suspected as much. Yeah, Penny gets, like, a two-second cameo. Because, like, who haven't we brought back yet? Penny! Everyone forgot about her! <laughs> I suspect as much. We are sorry for any trouble we've caused you. Detective Gumshoe? Uh, I'm so sorry, pal. I really thought that the tower was gonna collapse or something. Whatever. Hey, director! I'm talking- I'm taking a break. I'm sorry. I I'm really, really sorry. What a relief. It looks like the tower's collapse was prevented somehow. Explaining all this to Kay is, as she is now would take more time than it's worth. Well then, we should get going. Oh, that was it. Oh. <laughs> Literally two seconds. I thought Penny was going to be an important character. No, sorry. April 5th, 2.18 p.m. Grand Tower viewing platform. It's like a unicorn palace. Okay, there's cherry blossoms. This is America. And, oh, I didn't see what that was. Wow, what a view! I bet I could see my house from here. You have a house? <laughs> you can afford a house? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he eats ramen every day. Because he has a sweet house. I don't he think has, so. He has his priorities. He was the one who was like, can't get any air conditioning. I want an air conditioner. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, yeah. As you'd see, it was a good house. <laughs> <laughs> the wind... It's really strong up here. Everything should be fine as long as you stay close to me and Mr. Edgeworth, pal. If you start to blow away, one of us will be sure to catch you. It's not as if she's a kite. <gasps> this this has kind of a slow start to the case. Kay, do you recognize this place? I don't know. Was I really here? Maybe if I get her to talk a bit, it will help jog her memory. Yeah, I think the thing that's weird is I'm used to seeing Kay in the exact same outfit all the time. And mm -hmm. she doesn't- I feel like her body doesn't look like that. I know it sounds weird to say, but I feel like she has a different physique. Oh, you think so? And so that's kind of why I was like, Jill. <laughs> it's Jill. Jill. <laughs> Jill. I bet Jack is also in on this. Jack and Jill? <laughs> Kay, just tell me whatever you remember. Anything will do. Okay, but I don't know how much help I'll be. <laughs> Cross-examining Kay, but in a very different way. Memories of the tower. Did I really come to a place like this? It's so high up, and the wind is so strong. It's frightening. I just can't remember. I can't remember anything at all. I'm sorry. Just as I thought, it's impossible. My thing is, this is something that's very important for amnesia and such, your body has memory as well. Like, not just your head, but, like, your body has, like, certain experiences or things. It's part of why, like, your you sense... You have reflexes, Your kinda? sense of, like, smell and hearing and sight and such, like, helps jog memory, but also, like, yeah. Oh, you know, easy fix. Grab a guitar. Remember me. <laughs> no, uh, I like, have what? to say goodbye. She's a what? <laughs> no, what you have to do is you have to take her to all the criminals that we locked up. <laughs> like, we locked up this person? And There's this Mr. Person. Wellington. He loves large bananas. <laughs> no, not him. We'd be like, let's go to the prison and meet Sir Dogen. There's the Dogen. warden. She's like, my beautiful blah. That's the warden. <laughs> her memory isn't clearing up at all, huh? I'm sorry. It's a bit pathetic, isn't it? You're both going out of your way for me, but I'm not helping at all. You're doing just fine. You have memory loss, after all. Also, water has memory. <laughs> what? Oh, wow, apparently you don't remember anything about Frozen 2. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, that's right. I, it was so random. I'm it like, was, that was kind of a dumb part. Memory? 
<laughs> that was kind of a really dumb part. Of his memory. Still liked it more than Frozen 1, though. It was good. <laughs> All right, Mr. Edgeworth, remember to go easy on her, sir. Normally, you have this really intense and kind of scary look on your face. Ooh, maybe it'll bring back your memory. You're not helping it, Detective. Bottle, Memories of the Tower. Did I really come here? Oh, nah, you're getting kind of Adrian Andrews voice. I'm really tired. <laughs> she's tired. She's been she's been through a crap ton, that, and we're like making her walk true. around. This ticket stub proves that you were indeed here. But I really don't remember coming here at all. I don't think I would want to come to a place like this. But Jill made you come. <laughs> Heaven's tear, heavenly cotton cheese, candy. Oh. It's definitely cotton cheese. <laughs> I was starting to say cottage cheese, and then it came out as oh. cotton, which you, is what it's supposed to be. You used to love places like these, though. Was that really me? We're so high up. Just looking down makes me dizzy. I think these kinds of places should be shut down. Oh, also, fun fact. The creator of the game has gone on record stating that this is actually Kay's true personality. And that's, Kay's just crazy. And then the, the reason Kay acts the way she does is because of her memories. Is this a throwback case? No, not really. No. Oh. That, that's just, literally just, just a random. Traumatic. No, it's literally just the memories that she had growing up made her more energetic and bubbly. Oh, okay. It's not like in crucial to this case. Yeah, okay. But maybe to the final case. Maybe. I already said that. I don't remember that. What if the elderly person or a small child were to fall off? <laughs> I guess I must have forgot. I don't care if there are five updates my laptop needs, Dell. We'll do it later. The railing here is quite high. I think your worries are unfounded. Is that so... I just can't remember. I can't remember anything. You say you don't remember anything. In that case, is there anything that looks familiar? Looks familiar? Ah, oh, the cherry tree! What about the cherry tree? I was standing under that cherry tree. That's right! I was taking shelter from the rain because it was raining then! And there... a red... I saw... something red. Hmm... She was under the cherry tree while it rained. And... from there she saw something red. Who would let a 17-year-old go out by herself? She must have it's been Japan. with It's Japan, it's safe. It's true. I mean, but it's America. It's safe. America sure ain't safe. It depends on where you are. If you're in the city, you're, you're on a skyscraper, and you're 17 and a girl at night. Nope. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, is something wrong? It's nothing. Could you add that last part to your story? But from under the cherry tree, I felt like I saw something red. A red? What exactly? A red something or other. It was something red. That's all I can remember about it. Speaking of things that are red here, could it be that stand over there? Stand? A red stand? <gasps> That's right! I saw someone walking toward me from the other side of that stand! And then what happened? And then, um, I'm sorry. It's alright. Simply add everything you just said to your story. I love how we're getting, like, the intense cross-examination We music. are. I- someone was walking toward me from the other side of that stand. By that stand, do you mean the stand directly behind you? Yes. From behind that red stand, someone came walking toward me. I saw it from under the cherry tree. You've been saying that you saw someone. Does that mean you didn't see their face? Or was it a person you didn't know? I'm sorry. That much I don't know. So someone came walking towards her from behind the red stand. And she saw that from beneath the ter cherry tree. The cherry tree. The cherry tree. <laughs> Far away! <laughs> <laughs> Just as I thought, it's impossible. Is there nothing else that comes to mind? It doesn't have to be related to the case. Even if it's not related, um... Well, uh, I remember that the stand there was selling cotton, cotton candy. Cotton cheese. Cotton cheese. If you're hungry, you should just say so. I'll make sure to buy one for you later, pal. Thank you very much. I look forward to it. There's not much I can do unless I can draw out more information from her. 
Yeah, I know I know you're like, I don't see the appeal of the shy, quiet girls. I like the shy, quiet girls, so that's why I like this K better than like oh. energetic K. See, I like people who are really weird, and I like people who talk a lot, because as someone who talks more, I appreciate when other people can talk for me and I can just sit back for a bit. Mm hmm. But, I mean, I appreciate that too. Yeah. But I, my thing is, I can get a lot more talkative once I'm comfortable around someone. That's true. Well, and it's also the thing that's really great about people who are quiet is that you just, you never feel like you need to be talking all the time. You know, like yep. you can just let silence happen, mm -hmm. and it's chill. It's nice. For now, I'll press her in for more details. See what I can find out. So it's probably this one uh -huh. since we got the. Someone's walking toward me. Grand Tower pamphlet. Viewing platform. Boom. Cherry tree. Cotton candy stand. That's the map. That's the map. That's the map. I mean, that's I guess map. that's probably what it is. Objection! Objection! Oh, sorry, force of habit. <laughs> so, you're saying that someone came from behind the stand and walked directly towards you? Yes, someone came right up to me. Then that someone must have been a ghost. No, it was a person. I'm sure of it. If this is where you were, under the cherry tree, then someone behind the stand wouldn't have any ground to stand on. They'd be floating in midair. No person should be able to stand there. Ah! But I... I'm not lying. Someone! Red! Someone in red was on the other side of the stand! Oh, I, f I forgot how that... Some of her sprites are very creepy. Her yeah. eyes... Twitching, yeah. Twitching. They were walking toward me. Ah! Getting closer and closer! And then... That person... That person... Ah! Ah! What? What's wrong? Calm down! It's alright! Me and Mr. Edgeworth are both here for you, pal. I... I was pushed off... That person... In the red, yes, they were wearing a red raincoat. Remember who was wearing a red raincoat? Mr. Dukula. <laughs> Shelly Dukula. Someone in a red uh, raincoat or, was walking in midair. <laughs> or Nicole. Or Nicole in her parka. <laughs> She's like, okay. You thought I was a one off on a hard knockoff. I'm no, the killer. Uh, I'm the killer, sonny. <laughs> my real name is Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Jill's my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> are you like, that would be great, or are you like- would be so stupid and so great. <laughs> Someone in a red raincoat was walking in midair. And furthermore, they pushed her off this building. This is slowly turning into Sword Art Online. Nonsense. There would be no way she could be alright after falling from a building this high. Kay's memories were jotted down in the organizer. The goddess of law spared her, or whatever. <laughs> oh, random guard! It's a random guard! Who, oh. Who's doing it? Rock, paper, scissors? Yes, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot! shoot. Oh, Marty does it! <laughs> scissors beats paper. Attention, everyone. Please remain where you are. What's wrong, pal? I'm a detective. Tell me what's going on. Sir, a body was just discovered in this building. A, a body? Wow, you sound really calm, considering. <laughs> he does this every day. Who is the victim? We're currently investigating the details, but the victim's a woman. We have verified that her name is Kay. I was right! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> to be continued. That's not a great place to be continued! Wow, I forgot how short that first part is. Da -da, this case is significantly shorter than the last one. That's fine. It's still not like, oh, Terry Falls Dahlia short, but like the fourth case from the yeah. trials. But it's definitely a bit much better length than the last case. Anyhow. This is cool. That's it for today. Thanks I'm for watching, this. everybody. <laughs> Marty's already like, I knew it. I knew it wasn't the real K. I knew it was freaking Jill <laughs> posing as K. <laughs> Tune in next time. We're going to see K's dead body, perhaps, which will be very interesting. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> I mean, maybe it dinner. could be like, nonsense. Goddess of Law says, you suck and you're not allowed in. <laughs> that, ooh. Only next of kin is allowed in. Or whatever. She don't have no next of kin. She, her parents. Her, she has no mom, and her dad's dead. Uh, Melissa uh, Mew hence, killed her. I was about to say, I knew something was weird when the nurse was like, her parents are here, and they've been worried sick. I'm no, like, she's I'm, like, I'm sure her parents are worried oh, I'm sick. I'm sure. 
I thought her parents were. I'm like, that, <laughs> that seems off. That's possible. That's possible. Anyhow, have a great day and God bless.